Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing a German chocolate cake and a homemade pizza. This is Lou's birthday special, so if you see him, make sure you tell him happy birthday. If you haven't already, that is. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. You're going to want to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. And go ahead and grease you to eight or nine inch pans. Mine are a little old, so don't make that one, please. And get you a cup of water boiling on the stove. Next, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients first. It's gonna be two cups of sugar. I'm not all here today, guys. I don't. I'm not even sure I grabbed all the stuff I need for this, so bear with me. <laughs> One and three four, quarters of a cup of flour. quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. I am using the Nestle brand. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And the same amount with baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. I gotta open this up. And mix all your dry ingredients together. That is what I meant. Forgot. Start on your wet ingredients. All right, we are going to need two eggs. A cup of buttermilk. I got chocolate in my cup, but I don't care. half a cup of oil, vegetable oil. I'm just going to use this because it's going to the same cake. Get on there, booger. <laughs> Alright, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This is not too... This is not going to make two teaspoons, I don't think. One. About one and a half. All right. 
and you're going to want to mix this as well. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Too. Add it to your dry ingredients. And this is going to make a really thin batter after we add our last bit, but right now we're just going to stir this in together. Right now it kind of looks like a brownie batter. Our last step is to add one cup of boiling water to this mix after you get it good and mixed up. You get it all mixed up. All right, add your one cup of boiling water. And mix. All right, get your two baking dishes over here. These are grease and I've lined the bottom of them with parchment paper. Right on time too. Try to make sure I got it really good mixed real quick, I'm sorry. Add it to your pan, try to make sure you have about an equal amount to both pans. Try to get as much better out of there as you possibly can. You don't want to waste any of that chocolatey goodness. Alright. I can see how much you can bake it for. Alright, you're gonna bake these for 25 to 35 minutes until they're done. I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and then we're gonna start on the frostings. All right guys, I'm gonna start on the chocolate frosting first. You're going to want to melt a half a cup of butter in a bowl. It's not completely melted, but it'll be all right. And add two thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Mix together. All right, at this point, you're going to want to alternate adding a third cup of evaporated milk and three cups of powdered sugar.
guys. And what you're left with is this just really delicious looking chocolate frosting here. All right, we're gonna get the frosting ready for the, frosting ready, yeah. We're gonna get the ingredients ready for the German cake, cake frosting. All right guys, now we are making the German chocolate frosting. We're going to need a whole stick of butter for this. And I hate the way they package these things, take on it. I have a cup of regular sugar. A half a cup of light brown sugar. Three egg yolks, which I have already separated. One decided to bust on me, so yay. Three quarters of a cup of evaporated milk. Turn this on and heat it up and get it really good and thick. Stir it, obviously. Let this butter and everything melt and come together. All right, guys. Once your mixture here has thickened, you can start seeing the bottom. Once you stir it, turn it completely off the heat. Add one tablespoon of vanilla, which I didn't get a measuring spoon, so I'm just gonna dump some in there. A little bit more. One cup of coconut flakes and one cup of pecans. Top pecans. I'm gonna set this over here so it's completely off the heat. All right, you're pretty much just gonna mix all this together, guys, and then you're going to let this and the cake cool off completely before you um, do anything else with it. And that's what your, I'm not sure you can see it, but that's what your mixture will look like. I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl and sit it in the refrigerator to cool off. So now, onto the pizza. Yeah, he's already cut up all the vegetables. Um, cooked the meat. I am working on the crust, which is just a Walmart brain crust. You just follow the instructions on it. I do have a recipe to make one myself, but I'm lazy. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pizza crust on the pan. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, all of this actually, because it's a lot of dough. to take a fork and poke 
holes all around it. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic butter on top of it and bake it for about five minutes and then get it out of the oven. All right, next you just put all your favorite things on there and of course, pizza sauce. I didn't grab a spoon, so I'll use the measuring cup. Thank you. So yeah, just spread your sauce out on your pizza. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of cheese first, then put some toppings on and some more cheese. All right, we got peppers. onions, mushrooms, pepperoni, which we're going to do lightly like he said, he doesn't want to have heartburn today. And our beef. Plop it back into your oven until all your cheese is all ooey and gooey and yummy. We have enough to make another one. See y'all when that's done. That pizza. And voila, pizza. Voila. I've been wanting pizza for a while, guys. So let's uh, let's see what this tastes like. And it is cold and hot. It and, is. and we want to thank mom for the, uh, mm -hmm. this is M's Christmas present, the awesome cast iron pizza pan. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a pizza. <laughs> Delicious, guys. We're gonna go eat this and then come back and she's gonna finish the cake. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have cake. So, hey guys, it's time to put the cake together. That pizza was absolutely delicious. Let's see if I can get this out of the plastic wrap. All right, the layers pretty much go like this. I'm going to. Put a line of chocolate around the 
Okay. Put you some of that coconut in the middle. it up the best you can. I forgot my tools guys, I apologize. Get you some chocolate here. Spread it on your cake. Next layer, guys, is just put more of this on the top. And I'm just going to finish using the rest of the bit. And I pack the rest of my chocolate into a baggie here. I'm just going to try to, without busting the bag, make little, little pretty designs on the top. If you make this cake, you don't have to do this. Hey guys, so she's made my cake here. Uh, I'm cutting out the piece that stays on here and the rest of it is mine. <laughs> Everybody else got to fight over it. Yeah, everybody else got to fight over this piece and that rest of it's mine. All right, here but we go. Now, she always does this. She always makes, this is my favorite cake. And she always makes it for me on my birthday. So, mm -hmm. let's see what, it's always been awesome. So I have no doubts here. Yeah, you done. See how I done? Is it nasty? You yeah. Didn't say, mm, immediately, so. I'm holding that in because I want y'all to think it's nasty. The way I get to eat it all. Mm-hmm. Delicious. That's delicious, guys. Give us, give this recipe a try. Make sure you come over and hang out on Hump Day Live tonight. Uh. Same time, same place. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, we appreciate y'all. I'm going to go dig into this. And I guess we will see y'all next time. Make sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to tell this guy here, happy birthday. Y'all don't have to. Yes, you do. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys. <laughs> we love y'all. We'll see you next time. Stay living country. Bye.